All right, gang, here we go into a new computer art tutorial. And what we're going to do today is create some text art by kind of taking a blurb of words um, and then kind of overlapping it over one another, making it different colors, and making it kind of fit within the silhouette shape of any object of your choice. And then just kind of dropping in a simple gradient kind of image for a background so our text stands out a little bit. So uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to toggle back home and hit Create New. Uh, we'll look at full HD for our project and first thing I'm going to want to do is bring in my image that we're going to use. So again this could be an object, it could be a logo, it could be a symbol, um, it really could be anything of your choice. Um, as always it's going to make life a little easier if you search your object on a white background or just happen to find an object with a white background um, and I'm going to copy that and then command V to paste it. I am going to go ahead and stretch to enlarge to make this just about fill my canvas. You can always make it smaller later if I want. Let's zoom out a spot here so I can see my whole canvas. Um, so what we're gonna wanna do now is uh, take out this background. Okay, so I'm gonna go with my magic wand tool, uh, click on this background uh, area here and then just hit delete. Uh, although I do have to have this layer selected in order to actually delete from it uh, and then hit command D to make that selection area go away um, and then what I'm going to do is on this layer underneath our layer one our original kind of background layer I'm just going to fill that with a white color um, so white being the color I want here and then take my paint bucket tool and just fill in that simple background as white uh, what I will want to do is actually merge these two layers together now. So now I'm just going to go ahead, uh, layer, and then choose merge down. So that those kind of, oops, I had the bottom layer chosen. So uh, layer and merge down. Okay, so those two become one now with kind of this new, a little bit bigger, white spread out background. Um, so next we're going to do is start doing the type part. So I'm going to click on the type tool, uh, click anywhere in your uh, project to add text layer. And so what we're going to start doing is just typing a series of words um, that basically describe the item that you've chosen. So we've got to come up with, you know, at least like 10 or 12 uh, words or so, um, and then we can copy paste and repeat them and whatnot. So guitar, strings, let's see how many I can come up with here off the cuff. We'll go riffs, we'll go chords. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, press Command A to select all and change this color because I want it to be black so I can actually see it. Um, it's a little tricky to see. Um, so I uh, move that up out of the way, I guess, just for now. And uh, if I double click on this text layer with the type tool selected, it will allow me to enter back into that text box. So I'm um, gonna keep uh, doing words that kind of relate to playing guitar or instruments, notes, drums, we'll go bass. Um, we will go um, harmony just again just want to get like a blurb of words that all kind of relate to um, you know your object classic rock we'll go blues we'll do something like um, rock and roll uh, maybe I'll just try and fill up this one last line here. We'll do a couple brands like Fender and maybe um, what's another guitar brand? Um, uh, just blanking on them for a moment. Taylor is another. Um, we could put uh, other things in like jamming, <laughs> you know. Um, playing, strumming, strumming, that fills up my my three lines there pretty good. So, okay, I'm gonna take this now and make the size a little smaller. I want, I think, uh, this text size to be about 50, I guess, if we're covering this. Um, 50 seems pretty good um, to make it kind of readable and um, also 
kind of, uh, you know, just readable and also um, small enough where it's not going to be too big. Um, okay, so now I just want to select a font for this. So best fonts, I think, to pick are ones that are kind of bold and close together, sort of like this. I think that they'll fill up the image the best. I don't think using thin uh, spaced out lettering like this will work as well. Um, again, I don't think there's any real wrong picks you can make here, but I would say bolder typefaces that have the letters a little bit closer together are going to be the ones that are a little more successful with what we're going from here. Um, and so I'm just kind of moving my mouse around over these. You might notice sometimes these kind of take a second to load up um, if you just kind of like rattle your mouse around on it a little bit. I think that I've used this one before, but I think it's a good just kind of like a bold one that will work well for this. Um, so I'm going to keep that as my font. I'm going to go back in here and I'm just going to select this all, hit Command C to copy, and then just hit a space and then Command V to just paste this back in here. And then I'm just going to hit space and then Command V and then space and then Command V. And I basically want to get a big enough um, bl uh, block here so that it would cover my whole image. So space, Command V, space, Command V to keep pasting in those images or to keep pasting in the words. Space, Command V, space, Command V. That seems like it's going to be pretty good if I go to my move tool and try to move this, that it will cover, you know, just about the whole image. And it doesn't have to completely cover it. We are, like I was going to say, uh, copy and paste this a couple times to really make sure we fill in the whole space. But um, that looks like it's going to work pretty well. So now what I want to do is uh, change the color of this. I'm actually going to create a couple duplicates of this layer first. So if I want to duplicate a layer, I can go to layer here and then go to duplicate. Um, and that what then now I have that replicated. I'm going to do it one more time. So uh, layer duplicate again. So we have three of these uh, blocks. They're all kind of layered over each other right now. Um, but what I want to do is I'll leave this bottom one in place. I'll take this uh, one further up and just kind of drag it up to fill in sort of some of the uh, empty areas there and then I'm going to take the top one and I'm just going to drag it down a little bit so that it maybe fills in some of the parts at the bottom um, and now let's play with the colors here so this one I'm going to go back to my type tool uh, going to change my color to let's say a red and say OK and then my next one, I'm going to go and change its color to kind of like an orange. So I'm kind of going to do like three colors that are uh, analogous colors or very close together on the color wheel here. And um, going for kind of like a, you know, a gradient effect sort of. And then for this last one, I'm also going to change its color to a yellow and say OK. All right. That one seems hard to see, but uh, that's all good. No worries. Um, I can try and move it up here. I'm not sure if I moved that one at all, but now I can see all three of them, which, yeah, no, I want this one to go up. Yep, cool. All right, so I can see all three, so that should be working pretty well. I'm just kind of nudging these a little bit. You can nudge things, move them very little bit with the keys on your keyboard. Um, but now that I have this whole thing covered, I've got some different colors going on. They're kind of blending together, kind of cool. Um, you know, even if I wanted to, I could take like this red one and kind of keep it on the lower one third and then maybe take like the orange one and keep it kind of in the middle and then like the yellow one and keep the yellow one kind of like up on the top so that it really goes kind of from like one kind of blending into the next one into the next kind of thing. Um, so yeah, so maybe I'll go with something like this and that, that might, yeah, that might work pretty well. Um, maybe I'll move this orange one up just a little bit further and maybe the red one just a tad bit too. Just playing with the overlapping going on here just a little bit. Maybe that was up a too far. Maybe I'll just bring it back down a little bit. 
And then um, what we want to do is rasterize these layers. So I'm going to click on one and then go to image, uh, rather layer, and then go to rasterize text element. Then again, going to go here and going to go to layer and rasterize text element again. And then this last one, layer, rasterize text element. And that's so that we can um, edit these and delete them portions of them. Um, and now the other thing we're going to do is merge them all together. So again, I'm just going to go layer, uh, merge down, and then one more time, layer, merge down. So now all three of these blurbs, all different colors, are all merged into the same layer. Again, you can't edit or change any of this type now. It's kind of set as it is. Um, what I'm going to do next is make this layer invisible. I need to select all this area, this white out here, with my magic wand. So magic wand on new selection mode. Click out here. Uh, gonna have to have this image layer selected when I click here in order to get that whole area. Now I go back to this layer, make it activated so I can see it, and then just hit delete. And what that does is it trims all that extra stuff out there. It deletes all that extra stuff outside so it fits right inside that shape. Um, and then I can hit Command D. To deselect. Uh, if I want to see what this looks like by itself, I can kind of click this button to make this layer be invisible. And then you kind of got a preview of what your uh, project looks like. This image layer will actually, we won't really need it at all. Uh, we could delete it. Um, but for right now, I'm going to just add in a new layer. We're going to add that background we were saying. So an empty background layer. Um, this one, I'm going to move it underneath the text. And then I'm just going to fill it with a simple gradient, like I was saying. So gradient tool right here. Um, click on one. I'm going to kind of make it like more of a dull-ish gradient or at least contrasting colors to what I've got in my text. So if you've got warm colors for your text, maybe you want more of a cool color background, something like this. Um, you know, click, drag to make your background and that looks pretty good, you know, or, you know, something, you know, if you have cool colors, use warmer colors in the background, the reds, yellows, um, grays. The only other thing I may do with this is um, is maybe give it a little rotation. So if I want to here uh, rotate this a bit, click on your move tool, and then I could just uh, rotate this a bit. I do notice I have some text that's hanging out that didn't get uh, trimmed before, and that's fine. I could just go ahead and take my eraser tool, uh, pump up the size, and maybe make it just like a hard edge brush come back out here and just kind of like erase that junk going on out there. So anyways, there we go. Uh, text art complete. We'll go file, save. Uh, we'll call this text art. Uh, JPEG's good. Quality on high. We'll hit download. Make sure that that downloaded file gets into your Google Drive so that you can submit it for this assignment. All right, guys. So that's it for today. I uh, hope you have fun and get creative with your own text artwork.